Greetings and welcome to another episode of Trippy Food. We are still in San Francisco. We are on the road trip for the We Go Main Show in San Francisco. I am with Matt Zion and Chris Reckless from Reckless Eating. That's Chris Reckless. <laughs> And we are at Budin uh, right now. So Budin uh, originally started in 1849. This, uh, this location at, on Fisherman's Wharf opened in 2005, but they are still using the same sourdough starter, which they call the, uh, the mother dough. Uh, and they're using the same sourdough starter that they used in 1849. Mm -hmm. So all the sourdough bread is from 1849. Now, typically what people do when they come here is they get the um, clam chowder bread bowl but it's New England clam chowder. We're not New England, we're in San Francisco. Dungeness crab is a bigger deal out here, so I got the Dungeness crab chowder bread bowl. Now, I got it to go. Chris's was uh, for here. So when you get it to go, you've got to put it together yourself. So they give you oh God, the yeah. uh, sourdough bread. And uh, they cut the top out for you so that you can put I'm gonna rip a hole in the bottom of this. This is like, I, I'm oh, wow. surprised I didn't cut it all the way through. So there's the, uh, and then we just pour our. Wow, it's windy as Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, this is gonna, the audio is gonna be great on this. Yeah. Uh, and so we just uh, pour our Dungeness crab chowder into the bread bowl. Oh, that didn't look good. <laughs> I and, thought I didn't. And there's corn in there. Oh, I can smell that. I can smell the crab in there. All right, I got lots of spoons. Anyways, so here is our sourdough crab bread bowl. Now, I have to admit that I've been here before, but I've only gotten the um, the New England clam chowder bread bowl. So uh, the idea is to get a little bit of the sourdough bread. So yeah. put a little bit of the sourdough bread in there with the um, with the soup. Let's give this a shot. You gotta dig into it. Dig yeah. In. With a plastic spoon, that's easier said than done. Yeah, exactly. Well, when they go. give it to him, it kind of softens it up in, in advance. That's that's really savory and even a little bit spicy. But honestly, the, the, the crab flavor is not really very strong. So I don't know, like like when they make the crab chowder, if they if they're kind of. Uh, Stingy on the crab or something? No, it doesn't have a lot of the crab. Flavor. From what it seems to me, usually when you make like a bisque, you know, you usually like make a uh, uh, what do you call it? You know, you put the shells. And yeah. What's that, what's that called? Well, you put the shells like in water, and you put the spices and your onions in it. Like braising it? Or? There you go. Yeah. And then that, then you would use that to make your soup, and then you add in the crab meat, old, old bay seasoning, and all that. I think yeah. they put a lot of old bay in them. That's oh yeah, spicy. yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of spice in there. Mm -hmm. It's tasty. Um, I'm gonna give it. Uh, I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. Maybe not like an enthusiastic thumbs up, but a thumbs up nevertheless. It's actually pretty good. And the the cool thing about it is that you're down on Fisherman's Wharf. It's not as touristy, but it's kind of a cool place. Now, normally during normal operation, you they have a tour, so you can kind of go up these stairs and you can watch them actually making the bread. Uh, that part's closed off. You can see it a little bit. They usually make bread animals in the window and everything. But uh, but it's kind of a cool place to even just get sour just the sourdough bread that's made from the original 1849 starter it's kind of a cool place so if you're in San Francisco and especially you're on Fisherman's Wharf you know avoid in and out avoid the no, rainforest, get in and out. avoid the rainforest cafe and come and check out a place well, you like should this. just in general avoid the rainforest cafe it's yeah. terrible
We're just going to enjoy the rest of the afternoon here, maybe check out a couple of places. Be if you get out on the road, be careful because it's still crazy out there. So please take care of yourselves, please take care of others, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below. And be sure to subscribe by clicking on the Trippy Food icon right here. Glad you could make it, and we hope to see you again soon.